what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel so today uh we're gonna be installing some motor mounts on this 13 audi a6 so this is a v6 supercharged 3.0 liter so uh not gonna get in too much of details uh both of my gopros are down so what i'm gonna do is kind of go over what i have done so far uh since I got the car in the garage. So what I did already, you know, safety first, make sure you, you know, chalk the wheels, get your car secured on jack stands. Once you have them on jack stands, then you can pull the wheels off. So I have the wheels off right now. Uh, I pull both fender liners out. So that way you can access, and I can show you. find my light but down in there they're gonna be two bolts here and here they go to the motor mount so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get these two and then you have some on each side uh, that hold like a bracket. So I believe it's a total of four. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, drop the subframe. I don't have a engine support to help support the engine. So I'm gonna do it the way I've been doing it with a jack and a piece of wood, put it underneath the oil pan and, you know, mangle them out like that, you know, but uh, that's the way it's gonna, we're gonna do this. Do this. So, uh, by the book, pays about three point two hours. You know, I'm not on the lift half like like I would be if I was at work. But you know, we're gonna do what we gotta do and make things happen. You know. So if you wanna do this in the job, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over just a few things. You know to kind of help you, you know, if you want to do this job at home. So stay tuned, stick with me, and uh, keep you updated. All right, guys, so we back. So what I did here is I dropped the subframe. So you got two bolts here, here, and then those two back there, which are on the ground right there. So you're gonna Get your engine supported. Undo connector. And the wire harness, this right here that goes connected to this right here. Then, as you can see, you already got one mount out. So you're just gonna fish that mount out of there. Just like that. Get the engine up. Bring it out. And that's it. Well, like I said, not a too major job, not a hard job. Just gotta drop the subframe just a little bit so you can fish them out of there. And uh, I'll go over on how we're gonna get this one out of there. We're gonna have to remove this oil cooler out the way so we can get the other mount out so we can access these two bolts right here and once we get this out the way and these two, two bolts out the way then we're able to move the shield out the way and then fish them out the same way we did on this side out all right stay tuned i'm gonna get this other mount installed back in there and stay with me All right, all right guys, so this is your uh, oil cooler. So you have to remove it so you can get the other motor mount out. So it's one, two, three, four, five bolts that's holding it up there. If you have a new gasket, go ahead, put it on there. If you don't, just clean this one up and 
pray for the best that it don't leak. If it does, you know, it's not very hard to get in there and change out, but you know, why you in there and why it's off, you know, go ahead and change it. Unfortunately, we don't have a gasket. So what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna clean this one up, get it back on the car, get the other motor mount in the car first, then put this back up in there and then go from there. So like I said, uh, I'm kind of sorry that I'm not showing this as I go, you know, but uh, like I said, it's not that hard. I've got the other one already in there, everything, pretty much bolted up the bolts are just in there holding the mount up still have to put the main one in that goes through the subframe to the motor mount bracket but once uh i get the motor down then i can go ahead and do that and get everything secured tightened up and back together so again Like I said, again, so you want to get your car jacked up, get it on jack stands, you know, remove both fender liners on both sides, uh, get you some support the engine. If you don't, just grab your jack, two wood blocks, uh, support the engine, go ahead and remove your suffering bolts, two on the side, two on the back, on each side, then raise the engine up, and like I said, it's not that not that hard to do guys uh like time pays about 3.2 hours to do these so that's both of them driver's side passenger side you know they was all jacked up so we went ahead and replaced them. so we get this back together for y'all and uh like i said appreciate y'all watching Keep supporting me, boy. Subscribe to the channel. I hope this video helped you. If you got any comments, feel free to leave me a comment. 